my lesson today is from the geography shelf. So I'm going to get my work ready. I need some help. Let's see. Pablo, can you go and get the map of the United States of America? I will adjust my camera so that we can see. United States, the puzzle map, Pablo, the one in the shelf. It's about the fourth or fifth one down. I'm going to invite you to sit down, please. Okay. That's it, Pablo. Good job. Thank you. That looks heavy. Thank you very much. Okay. So, boys and girls, this is our puzzle map of the United States of America. Before I start talking, I do have some questions for you. We live on a planet. Raise your hand if you can remember the name of our planet. What's the name of our planet? Homer? Earth. Earth. We live on planet Earth. And planet Earth has land. <coughs> and those lands are called continents. Does anybody remember how many continents there are? How many, Sonia? Seven. Seven. Seven continents. And what is the continent that we live on? Aria, what's our continent? North America. North America. And then inside North America is our country. Last week, we made a landform of our country on Friday for pullout. Who remembers the name of our country? What's our country, Owen? Ohio. Well, you're right. Ohio's our state. It's not our country. Ohio's important because we're going to get to that in a minute. What's the name of our country? We live in the country, Sonia, of? Um. The United States of America. And that's why I have that puzzle map. This is our country, United States of America, and there's 50 states. Remember, we've been singing 50 nifty United States, right? The, the, the one state I'm going to talk about is this state right here. This is the state we live in. It's called Ohio. Here is our state of Ohio. I have lots of good information for you about Ohio. Here's our flag. And Denise, I am just going to move this mm -hmm. up a little bit so you can see me. There you go, boys and girls. It's a little better. Okay. All right. So I have a book about Ohio, and I have some objects to talk about. Our, our state. So Ohio is our state, the state we live in. It is the 17th state. Do you remember that, the song, the 13 original colonies? So the 13 original colonies were really the first states. They weren't called states until we weren't being ruled by England anymore. Then we called them states. Ohio was the 17th state, okay, the 17th. So this is a book, it's called B is for Buckeye. I'll go through it quickly. I'm not going to read every page but it has some beautiful pictures and some good information about our state. This is a picture of an astronaut. Two astronauts came from Ohio. The very first astronaut to walk on the moon, his name was Neil Armstrong. He walked on the moon, the very first person, and he's from Ohio. And then John Glenn was also from Ohio, and he was the first American to circle the moon. So two very important people. This page here is a picture of a buckeye tree. The buckeye tree is our state tree. And I also have a buckeye. This is a, a buckeye seed from the buckeye tree. This tree of Ohio. There's a picture here of a cardinal. That's our state bird. Our state bird is the cardinal, looks like this. 
we did a, um, some paintings with watercolor at the beginning of the year with cardinals, and we talked about birds, if you remember. So our state bird is the cardinal. The capital of Ohio is called Columbus. And whenever we're doing our puzzle maps in the classroom, the capital city is right where the knob of the puzzle is. So Columbus is right about in the middle of the state. Columbus, Ohio is our capital city. This is a picture of a cow. In particular, it's a dairy cow. Dairy cows are the kinds of cows that we use to give us milk. Some of our cows we use for beef. Dairy cows we get our milk from. Ohio has a lot of dairy farms. So on my tray, I have a, a dairy cow. If you drive around some of the country roads of Ohio, you will see lots of farms with dairy cows. This is a picture of Lake Erie. Lake Erie is at the very tip of our state. It's one of the Great Lakes. When you guys made your landforms, you had the Great Lakes on your landforms. Lake Erie is one of those, those lakes. This is a picture of a Native American. We've been talking a lot about Native Americans. They lived in the state of Ohio. And also, this, this book goes through the alphabet. This page being F would be for also for our flower, which is the carnation. Here's a picture of a glacier. At one time, when planet Earth, uh, when, when the planet Earth was formed and before we had the seven continents, Ohio was actually underneath water. So you're not gonna find any dinosaur bones in our part of Ohio, our part of the world, because our part of the world was once underwater. So the only fossils we have here are the kind of fossils like trilobites and different <laughs> animals that lived in the water. So this is a beautiful picture of nature in an arboretum. An arboretum is of like a park that you can go visit in Ohio. Ohio is known for many inventions. Lots of things were invented from people that lived in Ohio. This is a picture of bubble gum. Oh. The inventor of bubble gum lived in Ohio. On my tray, I have an ambulance. Ambulances were invented in the state of Ohio. I have um, a light bulb. Light bulbs were invented in the state of Ohio. I also have a note here, let's see. The first traffic light was invented in Ohio. The first airplanes were invented by Orville and Wilbur Wright, and they were from Dayton, Ohio. And the very first ambulance was invented in Ohio. So Ohio is known for lots of very important inventions, people that were very creative. This is a picture of John Chapman. John Chapman, otherwise known as Johnny Appleseed, was not from Ohio. He was actually born in Massachusetts, but he walked through Ohio planting lots of apple tree seeds. He spent a lot of time in Ohio planting seeds. This is a picture of a, a very special place that people who speak the Swahili language would go to visit. It's for joyful gatherings. It's in Cleveland and it's called the Karamu House. Here's the picture of our state insect. It's a ladybug. I happen to have a ladybug on my tray. That's our state insect, the ladybug. This is a picture of some of our um, paddle wheel boats because Ohio has some very famous rivers. We have the Ohio River. Um, in, o in Ohio, we have um, the Miami River. And the paddle boats were how some people traveled to Ohio. This is a picture of our state deer, the white-tailed deer. It's our state mammal. I have on, on the tray here that you can look at later, a deer. 
a white-tailed deer, our state mammal. This is a picture of our flag and the word Ohio. What's fun about this page is we can actually form the letters of Ohio with our body. You guys want to do it with me? So O, H, make your arms straight up, I, O. So you can do it real fast. Let's do it real fast. O, H, I, O. Some people like to sing that song at football games. It's a fun, we have an easy state to spell with our bodies. And then this page is a page of some very famous presidents that were from Ohio. Many, many presidents. It looks like we have at least seven or eight on this page. Ulysses S. Grant and William Taft are two of the more famous presidents from Ohio. Right here we have a picture of oatmeal. Quaker oats were also invented in Ohio. Does anybody eat oatmeal? Mm -hmm. And then this is a page of roller coasters. Ohio has some of the fastest and highest roller coasters in the world at a park called Cedar Park. And Kings Island has lots of roller coasters. Ohio is famous for our roller coasters. Cedar Point, I'm sorry. This is a picture of the Santa Maria. The Santa Maria is a, the boat that Christopher Columbus came over when he came over to North America on his first trip. This is a picture of a tomato. Tomato is our state vegetable. And tomato juice is our state drink. Okay. This is a picture of a vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner was invented in Ohio. Yeah. And remember I told you the airplane? The Orville, Orville and Wilbur Wright were from Dayton, Ohio, and they invented our first airplane. If you go up to Dayton, Ohio, you can go to the, the museum. You can go to the Wright Brothers Institute. Yeah. And this, this is X and Z, just two pages about parks and a special bridge in Ohio that looks like a Y. Okay. So boys and girls, on this tray, we have the symbols that I just talked about from Ohio. And I'm wondering if you notice a theme. I'm going to hold up some of the things from Ohio. A ladybug, a carnation, a cardinal, a tomato. Does anybody notice anything about these? Is there something that they have in common? What do you notice, Elmer? They're all red. It's easy to remember a lot of the symbols from Ohio because they're red. Okay. So Ohio has about 11 million people. That's a lot of people. It's not the largest state and it's not the smallest state and it doesn't have the most people. But we are a very special state. We're called a Midwestern state, right? Yeah. Um, we have a... Uh, let me just tell you about our flag real quick and then we'll finish up. So here's our flag of Ohio. It has the shape of a pendant. It's the only flag that is the shape of a pendant. The other flags are all the shape of what? Do you know what shape they are, the other flags? What is that, Miles? Rectangle. rectangle. All the other flags are a rectangle shape. Ohio is the only one that's called a pendant. And if you look in the very middle, there's two circles. Those represent the O's in Ohio. Ohio has two O's. There's two O's, two circles to represent Ohio. There's 17 stars on our flag, and those happen because we are the 17th state. Over here, there's 13 for the 13 original colonies, and then there's four extra to make 17. Okay? Whenever you see blue on a flag, it usually represents our beautiful blue skies. Whenever you see red on a flag, it usually repre represents the, the freedoms we had to fight for. Okay, so I have right here a work that you can choose, and some of you might even have it in your notebook. 
for making the flag. I'm not going to make the whole flag of Ohio. That would take a long time, but I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So if you were going to make this flag, you would start with a piece of black paper. And then you would get your, your red pendant shape. And you would put your blue triangle like that. And then you have a red and a white, right, to represent the O in Ohio. You have two stripes that you can glue on, right, like that, to make your Ohio flag. And then you have a white pencil to make 17 stars on the blue triangle. I don't know how to make stars very well. Sometimes I just put dots. 17 dots is just fine. And then there's a yellow piece of paper in this box with the image of the state of Ohio. If you don't have a puzzle map in front of you, if you're at home, you can look at a picture of Ohio and try to make the, the shape. So when you're finished, it can look like this. It's the Ohio flag, the state of Ohio, and the word Ohio at the bottom. That's how you could make the flag of Ohio. All right. So boys and girls, for attendance today, I just want you to name 